Good morning. It is 2.35 a.m. A August the 11th, 2020. On April, on August the 13th, 2019, I met with Congressman Cummings. I'm a whistleblower. I told Congressman Cummings about I Am Dred Scott. It was a movie I was making. I'm supposed to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee, but Congressman Cummings died. Kwasi and Fumi won't answer my phone calls. So I'm getting ready to pull y'all's card. I was making, I got Letters Design as a movie, Trading Places, Racism, and one and uh, Frederick Douglass. And one of the movies is called I Am Dred Scott. It's this one right here. Well, let me show it to you better this way. I use social media for social change. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. MySpace. Made these movies. And the movie I Am Dread Scott is a very significant movie because it's based on the war on drugs. I Am Dread Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Dread Scott was a precedent-setting case in 1857 where Chief Justice Towning of Maryland said that blacks have no rights in which white America respects. In that same breath, in that same moment, 2020, blacks have no rights in which white America respects in Baltimore City, Baltimore County, or America in general. So the best way to do this was making a movie and a documentary about it. And I got everything documented. Everything is documented. That's Shorty's voice. It's got a hundred. It's got 238 videos. That's Baltimore City when the when the FBI. That's the FBI when the Baltimore City came in my house and put guns in my head. That's about the war on drugs. This is the movie, Dred Scott, Supreme Court case. And it says right here, Tawny, a staunch supporter of slavery, all right, wrote in the court's majority opinion that because Scott was black, he, has, he was not a citizen, therefore it had no right, all right? That's what this court said. Well, fast forward, I follow a $54 million lawsuit against the state about being black. I am Dred Scott, a $54 million lawsuit. And that's why y'all locked me up. Civilian Review Board, harassment, false imprisonment, false arrest. I am Dred Scott. You feel me? I was going after your money in the banking industry. Dwayne G. Davis, 1402 Lochner. I was kidnapped, and that's the property that was stolen. That's the film, the footage of the film. And that's in Illinois, like Dred Scott. He was a free man in one state and a slave in another. I'm free in Maryland, and I was a slave in Illinois. And that videotape and that property shows it. You feel me? My lawyer participated in this. Like I said, I am Dred Scott. Dwayne G. Davis Sr., 1402 Lochner. I was kidnapped. That's Barbara Mikulski. That's 2009. False imprisonment. False imprisonment for filming a documentary. False imprisonment. Civilian Review Board. False imprisonment for filming a documentary. All right. That's Governor O'Malley. This is my third letter to you. That's me on Falls Road. Respectfully submitted. Marcus Garvey. All right. Reading that, I was making a documentary. All right, that's Governor O'Malley's office. Governor O'Malley, dear Mr. Davis, enclosed you will find a correspondence. All right, right there, DVD, Department of Justice. This is the Maryland Black Caucus. These are the black officials that knew about it. Mayor Pugh, Benson, Dolores Kelly, Muse, Gladden, Joan Conway, McFadden, Adrian Jones. You see that? I got everything documented. 1402 Lochner, you kidnapped me from my home. That's the writ of Main Damus, all right, for fiduciary fraud. And that's against the state of Maryland. You use your police department, your state's attorney to protect your corruption. 
false imprisonment. That's March. Received the circuit court of Baltimore City because I was trying to go to court and get my money. That's the case right there. I'm a political prisoner in America. That's me. I'm a political prisoner. And these are your politics. Case number. That's Clarence Mitchell. Because he knew all about this. Clarence Mitchell been shielding this. Clarence Mitchell and his brother C4. That's Frank Conway. And that's Judge Pearson. That's my lawyer. All right. Letters from a Birmingham jail by Martin Luther King. Due process and equal protection. This is a deck of cards. All right. From Caesar's Palace. Because I said I was kidnapped. So I'm going to pull your card. These are all the people that know all about this. All right. See that? Senior. That's your telephone number. That's the Attorney General. Like I said, I've been doing this at Starbucks for 10 years. And I'm going to send this to Starbucks. Bopa, because it ain't no logins making a movie. Office of Arts and Promotion. I'm going to give this all to Bopa because it's all about Baltimore and Baltimore politics. Johnny Oleski. Yeah, I got everybody that I got here, I got you on film. And I got emails, the Baltimore monitoring team. Yeah. I got all of you. Baltimore Office of the Inspector General. Yvonne Brooks. She been shielding this because the Inspector General was supposed to do something with this. And they didn't do nothing about this at all. He's retired, but he's still making money off the prison industry. They using his he's making money off of the prison industry. Yeah. Like I said, Waukegan and that's Larry Tempest. He's been knowing me since I was a little boy. Used to be the wrestling coach at West Campus High School. Waukegan in Illinois. I am Dred Scott. Bobby Scott, member of Congress. Deputy Clerk, David Patterson. Sam Cunningham. Sam Cunningham got this since 2016. Ain't did nothing about attended. You got over, you got a thousands of black people that went to jail in Lake County that Sam could power in Waukegan, Illinois. All black ain't black. Racism don't work without black cooperation, and he cooperates to the 13th. Nathaniel Pullum. All right. I took your cars for a reason because I want I don't want you to say that you didn't know about this. I took your car because I don't want you to say that you don't know about this and we're going to have a conversation again. I'm going to have you testify in front of the grand jury because like I said, I want to testify in front of the grand jury on the Senate Bill 374. I want to make sure that my testimony is heard in the House Judiciary Committee. And like I said, I am Dred Scott. That's University of Baltimore, Kirk Smoke. All right? So I'm going to file this. Mm. Kirk Smoke, I'm going to ask you to file Dred Scott. We're going to do Dred Scott all over again. Kirk Smoke, we're going to do Dred Scott. And we're going to have Vanessa Attenberry bring the evidence. We're going to have Leon Pinka testify. We're going to have Dem Benjamin Brooks testify. We're going to have Mary Washington testify. We're going to have Senator Antonio Hayes bring the book because he got the book. It's called I Am Dred Scott. Senator Antonio Hayes has that. Very detailed. We're going to have Charles Gibson come. I mean, Richard Gibson. You feel me? Baltimore City Police Department testify on my behalf 
Frank Conway's father destroyed evidence, and I testified in front of the Judiciary Committee. We're going to bring a special project. Okay, so like I said, thing is in front of the grand jury. I am rights you the maryland black caucus and you left me in jail that's fine account yes scott that's john hopkins university community and government affairs i am dred scott do blacks have rights that's the city office of civil rights that's the city office of civil rights you feel me do we have rights Office of the Mayor, Delegate Clippinger, Judiciary Committee. Do blacks have rights in which white people respect? Because I testified in front of you. I gave you evidence and you didn't do nothing about my rights. Terry Hickey, Homeless Department. Sid Nor. Robin Lewis. Now, this is the leader of the plantation, Donald Fry, because y'all protect the property here. And that's part of the, the property owner is Donald Fry. But like I said, I am Dred Scott. That's Congressman Cummings' office. He got all of this. He got all of this. It started getting money off of black bodies. That's the case. And that's when y'all came to my house and put guns to my head. That's me making the movie. And these are all of it. That's Jeff Sessions. That's the Stop Snitching video. Like I said, I can prove everything that I say about you. And better than proving it, it's like show and tell. That's Scott Schellenberger. You got mail fraud, federal federal violations by postal, postal fraud. So you're going to have to bring all this mail to the forefront. I filed charges with the state prosecutor, but you shielding Scott Schellenberger. The state prosecutor is protecting Scott Schellenberger, and so is Chief Hyatt. There it goes right there. That's September 2019. That's Johnny Oleski. And that's Marilyn Mosby. She protecting them as well. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? That's President Trump. Because like I said, it's 2020 elections. And we're going to make sure all this is on the table. President Trump don't do nothing. I'm asking for political asylum in another country. Because blacks ain't got no rights in white America. That's Eric Holder. That's Michael Nearham, state's attorney in, Walt in Lake County. That's the Department of Justice. That's Al Redmer. I was insured. I had a million dollar policy. I had a million dollar policy. That's Mayor Pugh, and she's my million dollar witness. Y'all will cut her some jail time if she testify. And that's Brian Frost. You got to defend my right to property. You got to defend me, period. Brian Chancellor. Y'all participated in this fraud. You were Senator Frost when I testified. Now you're Brian Frost, Attorney General, and you still turning a blind eye to protect Scott Schellenberger in your prison industry. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake want a federal and state audit because I'm property. I'm out $2.6 million in lost wages, $130 million in film. Jane Miller, Governor Hogan, Governor Hogan and Al Retmer, Eric Holder. That's Kwasi and Fume. Yeah, that's the suitor. If the suitor can go to jail, so can Governor O'Malley. If the suitor can go to jail, so can 52 members of the Democratic Party. If the suitor can go to jail, the suitor can snitch. I'm supposed to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee, and Kwasi and Fumi don't want to take my testimony. I am Dred Scott. He's been blocking my testimony since he sat in Congressman Cummings' seat. Y'all want to protect Governor O'Malley? Then go to jail for Governor O'Malley. Y'all want to protect white supremacy? Well, like I said, I am Dred Scott. I'm fighting for my freedom. 
When Governor O'Malley see me, he run like Jesse Owens. He don't never want to stay and have a conversation. He goes to conversation, Falls Road, dear Governor O'Malley, I'm writing you this letter because I need your help to clear my name for criminal record. I was kidnapped. And I was kidnapped because I was this right here. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. This is N6528. This is the 1986 case. I went back to get all the information and the evidence to make this movie, I Am Dred Scott. Right there, 2007. I went home on vacation, came back on probation. You locked me up twice for terrorism because I wanted to expose the war on drugs. Like I said, that's the state prosecutor in chief, Hyatt. That's Scott Schellenberger. And that's President Trump. President Trump got this. And Marilyn Mosby got this. President Trump and Marilyn Mosby. You want to make America great again? You got to address America's hate again. Dred Scott was the catalyst for the Civil War in 1857. Then you had the Civil War. Well, you got a war on drugs. And Dred Scott's going to be the catalyst for freedom. It's the Baltimore Brew. That's when I put that toilet in front of the school board. And y'all's political faces was on that toilet then. Y'all was all over that toilet. Tim Williams was on it. Lamont Hill was on it. Governor O'Malley was on it. Yeah. That toilet was very, 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 very. It was so very, it was got me locked up, charged me with terrorism. I'm not a terrorist. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm an artist, and this is art. See Tim Williams? See Shorties? See that? That's Shorties. That's Tim Williams. That's from 2011. All right? That's President Trump. So we don't have no misunderstandings. Dear President Trump, I'm a whistleblower exposing the corruption in Maryland's Democratic Party. Senator Van Hollen, Senator Ben Carson, Kwaisi and Fumi, Delegate Brooke Lieberman, Delegate Gabriel. All right, that's the President Trump and he got this. These are the supporters of shorties. And you got that. That's Governor O'Malley. All right, this is my third letter. Shorty, freedom, 400 year celebration. You feel me? 400 years. And these are the emails. Jerome Stevens, Senator Cardins, the FBI. Go to Shorty's voice and see all the DVDs Lake County doesn't want you to see. These are the DVDs. All right, my president. See the dates? So on that note, y'all want to protect Governor O'Malley? We'll keep protecting Governor O'Malley because that's Nick Mosby. And that's Nick Mosby. And this is Governor O'Malley. When y'all locked me up, you kidnapped me. Like it says, false imprisonment, false arrest, excessive force. I was kidnapped. There go Nick Mosby. There goes Adam May, a follow-up letter. You want to protect Governor O'Malley? Like I said, we're going to take this to President Trump, being black and white America. I'm not a terrorist. I'm a cook. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. It's July, August, over a year. A year, and he ain't did nothing about it. I've been to the White House. Yeah. And that's President, oh no, that's Congressman Cummings. Like I said, Kwasi and Fume, you got to see me. Kwasi and Fume, you got to see me. You got to take it over. That's your job. That's your job. 
So on that note, that's the movie I Am Dread Scott. Now I'm looking for a producer. I got all the material. All I got to do is get a producer. We put this on film. Can't nobody deny nothing. Like I said, I'm going to pull your card. I'm going to go that hard. GOP Carter, Ivan Bates, Warren Brown, Dwight Pettit, J. Wendell Gordon. How much money you make off of black bodies? How much you make off the war on drugs? Let's end the war on drugs. Let's stop this slavery.